Hello and welcome to my video all about how to make fake broken windows. This would make a great prop for Halloween and is particularly effective when used on windows that have small individual panes of glass. To do this you're going to need some frosted contact paper which is also known as frosted window film or frosted privacy film. You'll also need some scissors, a pen and a piece of paper. The whole idea of this method is that the frosted contact paper represents the broken glass and the real glass underneath is clear so in comparison to the frosted paper the clear glass becomes invisible. One other thing that could be handy is this which is used to apply this kind of film to the windows. All it is is a plastic scraper with a soft felt covering on one side. You don't need one of these but it does come in handy when applying the film. These are the panes of glass that I'm going to add the contact paper to. So the first thing I do is draw an outline the same size as one of the panes of glass onto the contact paper. I then set about drawing my design for the broken window. You don't have to do this, you can cut straight into the contact paper and just do a random zigzag design. However, I like to draw it out first because I find that that just gives me more of a guide and lets me change things if I want to. Basically what you don't want to do is do a cartoon zigzag design because that will look unrealistic. You want a random looking design. If you're struggling you can look up broken windows on Google and that will give you some idea of how they look. You want some zigzags but you want them all different sizes and shapes. You want curved lines and cracks and basically just try and make it as realistic as you can. One important thing to note is that when you're drawing directly on the contact paper make sure that you're drawing on the back. So you're not drawing on the frosted side of the contact paper but you're drawing on the shiny clear side that's going to be going in the bin later on. Once you're happy with the design you can then cut it out. I think cutting extra slits in the paper to represent cracks looks particularly effective. Make sure to keep all the excess pieces of the contact paper because that can go and make more broken windows. As I'm showing here. I basically do some freestyle cutting without drawing a design first, making sure that one side of each piece is completely straight. Personally I prefer the look of windows that have barely any glass left, so these use up a lot less contact paper and you just have short sections of jagged glass that you can stick at random around the edge of the window. I ended up using three A4 pieces of contact paper to make six broken windows. And you can see the finished result here. One tip is to make sure that the windows are completely clean and clear before you stick the contact paper onto them, as this will give a more realistic effect. The other thing is that you should follow the instructions that come with your contact paper. My instructions told me to peel off the backing from the contact paper, add a very small amount of water and then simply attach it to the window. I then used my plastic scraper with the felt covering to release any excess water under the paper and to release any air bubbles. And that's it. You've now completed a set of fake broken windows. I really hope you've enjoyed making these and thank you very much for watching.